y'all this is the video for my eating regimen this is basically a day in the life of eating as me Derek uh, I get a lot of messages through Facebook email whatever about how do I eat what am I eating you know the times of day I'm eating how frequently all this stuff and I thought this would just be a much easier way to throw it out there um, every meal I'm gonna take a recording of we'll clip it together um, if the video is useful to you Please like it. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. There's going to be a lot more stuff getting kicked out now as we're kicking off the Iron Cross and basically serving Dayton and will soon to be Cincinnati when I move down that way. Uh, so just some quick background. What I'm eating here is basically, it's assuming a lot of things if you were going to apply it to your life. It would be assuming that you are going to be on a powerlifting program like I am. I don't spend a lot of time in the gym right now. It's just high weight, high intensity. You get in there and you get it out, you, you know, you just bang it out, right? Um, and then you would have a similar physique to me, similar genetics, uh, meta uh, metabolic rate. All these things would be similar in that you could uh, reapply pretty similarly what I eat and exactly what I take throughout the day. Um, so the way you eat, the way you train, they complement each other. Your body, you're going to tear it down in the gym. You're going to build it up in the kitchen. People, you will do the most amount of work in the kitchen. Quit going crazy and acting like a beast in the gym all the time. You know, you're working your tail off. Let's say you burn like 200 calories in an hour. All right, well, how about you make a diet change and drop 800 calories like that? Like that. All right, that's where you're going to make a lot of progress. Um, that is the secret behind everything. I don't give a crap what Dr. Oz has to say. Dr. Oz is feeding everybody a line of crap for the most part when it comes down to this. There's no super fruits. There's no magic crap out in the rainforest. It's being consistent with your diet, eating clean. And here's basically the rules. Did it come from the earth or did it used to have a face? You know, I don't eat a lot of pork. Uh, I just stay away from some of the, the fattier meats. But if it used to have a face, a.k.a. turkey, chicken, salmon, tilapia, or if it came from the ground, potatoes, apples, cucumbers, uh, leafy vegetables to get your fiber, that is exactly what you're trying to eat. That's how you get a uh, good physique. If you're interested in aesthetics, quite honestly, as far as athletic performance, I believe in it just because the body can recognize natural, God-grown food way before it'll ever recognize everything else. Uh, so that's kind of some principles I live by. Uh, another thing, um, eating seven, eight times a day. I don't think it boosts your metabolism any more than intermittent fasting, which my boy Pat does, and I'm sure he'll explain in a video also, where he'll eat 2,000, I don't know, 3,000 calories within four hours and then not eat for the rest of the day. You know what? Him and I got the same body fat. Uh, we've lost body fat exactly the same way. I eat, I do eat six, seven meals a day just because uh, I think I'm kind of bored and it's just a system that I follow. So no matter if you're an intermittent fasting type of guy or girl where you eat a crap ton within a few hours and you don't eat for 16 hours or whatever, 18 hours, um, that's completely fine and it'll work. This is why. If you eat multiple times throughout the day, your uh, metabolic rate will raise and lower multiple times a day. If you stuff a bunch of food down your throat for intermittent fasting, your body, your metabolism has to stay elevated while you're breaking down that food, processing all that food, digesting it. Uh, it's just the way it works. So you're going to have your metabolism elevated for that much longer while you're trying to process all that food. Um, there's some spillover effect theories about carbs and the amount of body, uh, amount of grams your body can take with carbs. Um, and uh, if it can't, you know, take in any more than 50 grams, um, it's just going to store it as body fat. Um, if you're training hard, I'm not so sure. You know. It's hard to make a blanket statement like that when you're training hard. Um, so that's it in a nutshell. If you got questions, please put them in the comments section below. Like, I'm out. Got to be kind of quiet. Everybody's sleeping. So here's how you kick it off. A couple of oats. Now don't worry about the quantities. Just worry about what we're actually eating because everybody's going to be different depending on their goals and weights and everything else. So Quaker oats, quick one minute oats. You can get it on in the morning. Wild blueberry and by shape protein mix some meal replacement powder there's there's the breakfast um, I don't take a multivitamin I get my vitamins within my by shake feel great it's a solid meal to start. up again here we are in the car I know it's dark 
Uh, just to make a point, um, not now, I'm on my way to work, it's in a little traffic, and it's protein shake time. And this all depends on what you're doing, what you're going after. Um, you know, my team has had a lot of success with weight loss on meal replacement shakes. And I'm a firm believer in them when you're in obese or overweight category. Um, to drop down and lose that weight to get it off your body, that's a big deal. Um, right now I'm in a powerlifting program again, so I am not absolutely into a shred at this point. Uh, what I am on is basically a body uh, recomp program because it's a heavy power lifting program for six weeks. Uh, I need to carve up at times because the weight's heavy. Uh, the intensity is at its highest point pretty much. And so uh, around the protein consumption, uh, I'm a firm believer that the body can only handle about 25 at a time of your normal person, for your normal person, normal physique. Uh, and then about 50 grams the body can actually absorb throughout the hour. So what I normally do is I get my Vi powder in with my oats in the morning and then you know within like 30-45 minute range um, if I'm on the road or in a traffic jam I'm smashing an actual protein shake. I'm not like a double scoop guy you know people are pounding 60 grams of protein and stuff um, and everybody's approach is gonna be different that's not my approach uh, I think it's kind of wasted and I kind of feel like I'm, I'm pissing out dollars because your body can't convert that amount of protein at one time anyways. So I spread it out within the hour. It's a little annoying to probably some people to you know, try and spread your protein out a little bit like that because it's one more thing you got to do. It almost feels like you're having one more meal or one more snack. Um, What's up guys? Lunch time now. I'm at work. I did not pack my lunch on purpose just to prove a point. You can still make good decisions even when you're out. I uh, went down to the cafeteria, grabbed chicken salad, just had some hot sauce on it, cucumbers, black beans, uh, kind of as a dessert, Greek yogurt, some additional protein there, some leafy green vegetables, uh, pretty much what you need to be living lean and enough to fuel you through your workouts. Um, so that's it. Just want to give a recap of that, that you don't have to cheat just because you haven't prepared your meal. Ultimately, people don't... Have... No. What's up, guys? Snack time, 2 p.m. here at work. I want to give the credit to the wife for this little jewel, if you will. Check it out. Let me just hold it up. Maybe this is better. Strawberry almonds, cinnamon roasted almonds, regular salted almonds, and dried cranberries. We talk about a snack. That's a snack. That's gonna knock out some cravings. Dinner time here with a salad, turkey, cranberries, grapes, cottage cheese. For those of you who like to crunch on something, cinnamon roasted almonds. Hardcore crowd will say, get your natural almonds, whatever. We're all human. It's good enough. Unsaturated fats. That's what that's all about. I don't have much strength. Dressing. I like vinaigrettes, balsamic, raspberry is awesome. That will be the last meal of the day. There you go. There you go. Woo! Carmel burpees! Next up, we have the post workout shake that I'm having now. Again, let's recap I'm on a powerlifting program, I've upped the protein quite a bit. And um, so I buy a diamond ties off the internet, five pound tub because it's cost effective. Uh, and I don't have to run back to the store very often to get it. Um, and then let's go back over my personal belief. Body can't handle more than 25, 30 grams of protein in a sitting. You can spread that out over an hour and get a second hit of 25 in. That's cool. Um, but as far as jamming in 60, 70, 80 grams, I'm not sure you're doing anything but pissing your money into the toilet. So don't worry about that. Don't do it, please. And that's it. It's recoup time.